oh my god i'm never gonna financially recover from this what's your favorite scary movie hey guys me host super sorry thank you very much for tuning in look what i got i got a bunch of stuff so i now officially have everything i need for my 31 terror toys in 31 days or 31 horror toys in 31 days as it was originally called and uh, I, I've also got a bunch of stuff for the month ahead as well in November so this is probably going to be the last haul you're going to see till about mid-November for me because uh, I've got so much stuff here uh, I've, I've gone on a bit of a spending rampage over the last few weeks and um, picked up everything I needed for October and then I've even got some stuff that I'm not going to get reviewed before the end of the month so they're going to end up waiting until um, November to be reviewed after the Horror Toys stuff. So, oh, there's so much here, but I'm excited to go through it all. So this is the haul to end all hauls, as I like to call it. And uh, it's this. Uh, there's a mixture of something here for everyone, from budget action figures to DVDs to some comic books to Funko to, uh, act of, you know, to action figures, collectibles, and everything in between. So let, let's jump in and take a close look at this awesome, awesome haul because I am so excited. Where should we even start? Some stuff you may have seen on the channel recently if you watch my short videos. I know not everybody tunes into shorts. It's kind of a new thing on YouTube, but it's a new thing, but it draws in a, a, a new audience for me and gets people watching. So I do tend to put out a few um, of the shorts a week. So we'll start with the shorts stuff that I've put out. So you may have seen these in a haul the other day. Um, this is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Game Store here in the UK. And yes, you are seeing that right. It was $4.99. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just a toy that's been out since Afterlife and they don't seem to be able to shift it. So $4.99, I picked this up, shoved it in my basket and got very excited. This is the budget version of the Ecto-1 that came out to go with those sort of like budget entertainment figures that are like 10 quid. Um, and they made, they made all the kids from Afterlife, along with the original Ghostbusters. Um, not 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 the six inch ones. I'm talking the ones that came on the card backs. Um, you know, like the budget version ones. I think they were about eight or nine quid when they came out. Uh, and this is their Exo One, basically. So it won't fit your six inch figure, as far as I'm aware. But we'll give it a go anyway. And uh, I'll be reviewing this actually on the channel tomorrow. So tune in at five pm tomorrow to see this bad boy reviewed on the channel. So yeah, really excited about this Exo One. Four ninety nine, such a bargain. Could not pass up on that. Next up was some Marvel Mech Strike Monster Hunters. Again, you may have seen these if you watch my short videos. Um, couldn't resist grabbing these. Mrs. Super Sorrel went to Smith's for the celebration of the release of their um, magazine. You know the the the, the brochure. I can't think of the word. Catalogue, that's the word, catalogue. At the, the start of their Christmas catalogue. So um, she went and picked up some of the um, ca capsule ball things that kids like, you know, the Disney Disney mini brands. Oh, I am bad with names today. And uh, well, while she was there, she grabbed a couple of these Monster Hunters for me. So we have Doctor Doom in the budget action figure form. He's awesome. Comes with accessories as well. And the best part is accessories in these kind of figures because they're six inch they tend to work well with marvel legends so we're going to see what that accessory is and see how it looks plus we're going to it's not every day you get a doctor doom action figure so i was very excited to see doctor doom and then of course i could not resist picking this up this is the uh, thanos and it's the what do they call him the mega uh, monster punch thanos because he does this <laughs> But I love it. Uh, so Monster Punch Thanos. Uh, can't wait to open this one up. I think Thanos renders himself really well to this monster look. So does Doctor Doom. This line works really well. Like the monster versions work really well with the villains. I think the I think the heroes should have remained in the regular like mech suits, and then the villains should be the ones that are in the monster suits. I think then it could have been mechs versus monsters. I think that would have been cool, and then the villains are the monsters. Um, although characters like Blade and Ghost Rider, if they don't add this to this collection, and Doctor Doom, no, sorry, uh, sorry, Doctor Strange, if they don't add them to this collection, they're missing a treat. Because imagine, imagine a monster version of like, or oh, even Morbius, they could actually be a big bat, couldn't they? There's so much cool stuff they could do. Let me 
just plonk those down there. And uh, the, mon the, the, the monsters I'll be reviewing as well before the end of the month. So what day are we on now? We're on 26th today. So let me just get my details up. So tomorrow is going to be the XO one on the 27th. The 28th will be Thanos. 29th will be Doctor Doom. The 30th I'm leaving open because I have something that is arriving in the mail that I've been sent uh, by Playmates. Ooh, yeah, Playmates Toys are sending something over. Can't wait. Should have it in hand by the end of the week. So I'm saving the Friday ready for that toy. So stay tuned. But yes, let's move on with the rest of the stuff. I'll show off next the comic books and DVDs I picked up. So, went to uh, Asda, and it's the release of Jurassic World Dominion today. It's finally out on DVD. And the best part is... They've given us an exclusive Lego set that goes with it. Uh, this is set number 30390, which is the Dinosaur Market. It comes with a baby Velociraptor, an amber sort of cube, and then an egg as well. So an, uh, an exclusive character. So a very cool looking little set. I will be doing a TikTok or something with this. I might even do that later on tonight. So check out my shorts. You'll probably find a short video of this very soon. See, I tend to do that. I tend to put things on Instagram or TikTok and then I'll put it on YouTube as a short. Now, don't kill me and don't fall out with me over this. I had to pick up the Evil Dead trilogy because, do you know what? I have never seen the Evil Dead. <laughs> I know I know of Ash and I know the whole Boomstick and Sam Raimi and I know the shtick, if that makes sense. But I've never sat down and actually watched... Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. I know of them. I've just never watched them properly in their entirety. So I am going to sit and, and actually enjoy watching these this trilogy of films. I understand the first one starts out quite serious horror, I believe. But then by the end of Army of Darkness, it's a bit more horror comedy than anything. But I can't wait to sit and watch Bruce Campbell and sit and enjoy those movies. Then we've got some comics. My comic stuff this one this week, I'm very excited about. Some good stuff here. So we have R.L. Stein's new book from Boom Studios, which is the stuff of nightmares. R.L. Stein, if you don't know that name, if you're a bit younger and you're not aware of who R.L. Stein is, R.L. Stein wrote the very famous Goosebumps books. And Stuff of Nightmares is his new book. Uh, so I'm very excited. It's a horror, a horror one. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm very excited to read it. I've been waiting for this to come out. Creepshow is back with a new comic book series. Um, again, this is celebrating 30 years of ING as well. It's Im sorry, Image Comics. And Paul Dini helped write in this book, which Paul Dini obviously is one of the creators of Harley Quinn. A feast for your famished eyes. Tales of suspense and horror. But also there are other people in here like uh, Stephen Langford, Chris Burnham and John McCree as well. So plenty of well-known um, you know, comic book writers and, and, art and artists there. Number one of the Midnight Suns is out now, which is, I'm guessing, is going to be based loosely upon the video game, or is getting us ready for the video game. But it's a story that includes Wolverine, Magic, Ghost Rider, and, of course, Blade, amongst others. So, very excited to give that a read. Uh, not, not read any Midnight Suns since I was a kid. And then, of course, Predator number two is out now, Marvel's new Predator book. The first one was really cool, so this is the second one in the series. Very excited to see where they go with it. I didn't read the Aliens one, though. I really regret missing out on Aliens. All right, so that's that stuff, by the way. <laughs> We've got so much stuff. All right, let's move on. So I went to Lego store this week, and I was able to grab myself the Lego Haunted Mansion. That knife is going to fall, isn't it? Yep, okay, he's put Chucky's knife down. Uh, yes, managed to get the Lego Disney's Haunted Mansion. Now, you guys know how much me and Mrs. Soups are love going to Florida, and this is a small build representation of the Haunted Mansion with an open back that gives us um, a look at the inside of the mansion. And as well, it comes with an exclusive minifigure as the uh, one of the stewards for the Haunted Mansion ride. Very cool. Couldn't resist picking this up. And yes, this will be a part of our 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. This is probably going to be day number one or two. and This will be very early in the month as I want to review this I want to get it online I want to I want to get the video up and I want to enjoy building it so that one will be coming very soon 
on the horror toys. Um, I got a really good deal for the knife and the Chucky, but we'll talk about that in a bit when I get to Chuckster. Uh, I went to, there's a, a shop near me at the Junction 32 at Freeport, it used to be called, or it's now called Junction 32. It's a shopping outlet here in sort of like Glass Outen. And there is a shop there, I believe it's called Toy World or Toy something. And they had the real Ghostbusters Fearsome Flush. Now, they've had this in stock for such a long time. It was originally 18 quid, and they've now marked it down to four pounds. Could not resist grabbing it. At four quid, it's worth picking up. Um, obviously, it's going to fill one of, the, one of the 31 days of my Horror Toys videos. So, yeah, I just couldn't resist grabbing this one. It's part of the classic Kenner line. And I had this as a kid. I actually had this exact toy as a child. So to get it back now as an adult, I'm quite excited by that. And yet, like I say, it, sometimes you need cheaper stuff as well as your high-end stuff when you're trying to fill 31 days straight of collectibles uh, to do review videos. As you can guess, it does stack up cost-wise pretty heavily. And we've got some great stuff to share with you this Halloween, but we also need a few budget items to throw in there. So speaking of bargains and budget items, I managed to find this dart... Uh, squeezable dart from Stranger Things. It's a McFarlane's toy. And this was is actually in B&M right now for £2.50. Uh, so yeah, not a bad deal at all. I think it was like £2 quid or £2.50. And yeah, it was. it's from the McFarlane's toy line. It's dart. It's a squeezable version of it. There's like a little hole here where you can push him, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Uh, but yeah, dart looks very cool. And uh, yeah, just a nice little like creature video to do. So couldn't resist that. <clears throat> then I went to my local comic book store and he had the Super 7 Mars Attacks figures. I got both variants of the uh, Mars Attacks monster, alien, whatever you want to call it. The invasion begins and destroying a dog. Could I resist grabbing these two? And there is also Burning Flesh, which was... It didn't have an alien in that one, though. It just had a soldier with his front part missing on his chest, which is still cool, but I didn't feel like I needed that one. Whereas these two, I like the aliens. So, And, of course, we've got one with a straight smiling face and one that's doing the... <laughs> so that's very cool, and it comes with the dog as well on that one. And these are very nice card backs. I'm not going to lie, they're, they do look very cool. I can't wait to do a video on them to kind of show you guys how cool these card backs are. But I will be opening them. Uh, these will be opened on my channel. Uh, this will probably be November though because I'm run out of time and they're not really horror toys. So this is going to be a little ways away just yet, guys. So stay tuned. Uh, but we will get that review online as soon as we can. Um, Where should we go next? Entertainer here in the UK. Uh, ent entertainers, normally uh, you would say Entertainer can be a little bit more on the expensive side usually when it comes to toys and especially collectibles. Like recently they were getting in Marvel Legends that were quite old and still asking for £25 each for them. Even though they were the older figures that wouldn't have been marked up at that price really. But then they've made up for it recently by getting in a bunch of collectibles at very reasonable prices. So right now there is like the Hydra Stomper in my local entertainer and the Hydra Stomper is 20 quid. I mean that, that, that thing was 50, 60 quid when it came out, wasn't it? It was quite expensive. And same with these. These are the Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 packs. These were originally about 54 pounds I want to say on Hasbro. These are now in entertainer for 20 pounds each. So... When when they were marked about fifty quid, I was kind of like, nah, not worth it, and I, I don't, I don't, I didn't like the aesthetic look of them for that price. But marked down to twenty pounds each, bargain. That means ten pound a figure for something super articulated and awesome. And the fact that it's Power Rangers and Turtles, and I like both Power Rangers and Turtles, especially because this is based on the Mighty Morphin, so it's the original Rangers. So obviously we've got Tommy and stuff. So yeah, very interested to see this one. I need to reread the comics before I do the reviews. But luckily, I do have some time, as like I say, these reviews will probably be the ones that come out in November now. But I'll definitely be doing them. So we've got the Red Ranger and Tommy. Uh, Tommy looks like he's dressed as a foot clan or something. That's very cool, though. Yeah, foot, foot soldier Tommy. And then we've got the Morphed Raphael. We've also got, I believe that's going to be April O'Neil. Yes, Morphed April O'Neil and Michelangelo in the yellow. Very cool. Um, definitely want to put the April O'Neil head on the Pink Power Ranger body, otherwise it does just look like the original Pink Power Ranger. That's my only issue with that one. But then, of course, we get all the Don uh, Donatello and Ra uh, Don 
Donatello and Leonardo in the two pack as well, blue and black. So again, very cool looking figs. And of course, these weapons will be usable with your other Power Rangers, which is kind of cool. And yeah, these just look really cool. And I like the fact that they've bought the morphing coins are actually like different as well. So that's very cool. Yeah, can't wait to unbox these. These, like I say, will probably be November by the time I get to them, just because we're running out of time. We're going to be in October within a couple of days, and I want to do the horror toys. And um, sometimes I try not to like some. Some people would say, "Well, just put two videos out that day." I want to make sure that my videos that are coming out in October, November, December. I want to make sure I'm taking time on the videos I'm putting out. I don't want to rush them out just to get them out on the channel for you guys. I want to enjoy filming them and I want to do them at a pace where I'm comfortable and that I can make good videos. So, hope you guys respect that because I'd like to, you know, do some good videos for you guys. So, let me just put these down here for now. I'm running out of space. <laughs> running out of space. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's keep going. Uh, this figure came, I, I bought, bought this figure off somebody in one of the groups, um, and he was selling this for 20 quid. And may I just say he sold this for 20 all in. And it is the NECA cloth version of Candyman. And the chest piece is under there. It's got the spare head as well. It's got the spare head here. So, yep. And you guys guessed it, it's going to be featured in the 31 Horror Toys of 31 Days. So that's just an awesome find. And uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, get that on the channel as well. I've been missing Candyman from my horror collection. So very happy to get, to get Candyman finally. And as I'm an, um, as I'm an unboxer anyway, I don't, I, I don't see the point in... Sometimes if someone's got one that they've had on the shelf for a long, long time and then they want to move it on, sometimes if I, if I was going to buy it anyway, I'd rather buy the unboxed one, com like a, com a complete box, like un a complete unboxed one rather than pay over the odds for the boxed one because I'm only going to open it anyway. So sometimes you can get better deals if you're an unboxer like that. My local comic book store also had the next step in the Across the Spider-Verse line. As you saw a couple of days ago, I did review the um, Spider-Man 2023. Well, now we have Ghost Spider, aka Spider-Gwen. They're still going by the name Spider-Gwen on the packaging for this. I'm wondering whether in the film they're still going to use the word Spider-Gwen or whether they are going to go with the more up-to-date Ghost Spider or whether she'll become Ghost Spider in this. I don't know. Uh, her powers obviously do, ren do might go well with the Ghost Spider moniker name. So hopefully they'll update the name in the new film. But if not, Spider-Gwen. And she's still a cool-looking figure. Can't wait because obviously these are... The same scale, like, like, like the heads and things are the same scale as Marvel Legends. So I can't wait to see if the Spider-Verse unmasked head for Spider-Gwen fits onto this body. And vice versa. So we'll have some head swapping fun in that video. Could not resist grabbing this. Again, this is for our 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. This is Muncher from the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. Um, as you guys probably guessed it by now, I'm a big fan of the Ghostbusters Afterlife film. A lot of people, yeah, some people had mixed feelings about it. I loved it. Uh, Ghostbusters is Ghostbusters to me. I'll always love it. So really happy to have this in the collection. Just something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, Muncher. As soon as this came out, by the way, everyone in my family called me Muncher. So that is now my official nickname. Right. Um, what should we do next? I'll put this to one side for now let's talk about all the mystery box style products so the same store where i managed to find the fearsome flush toilet i also found these these are the stranger things upside down capsules you guys know i had a couple of these when the first came out on the channel and i was really 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 excited to have them i'm still hunting certain characters and these were heavily marked down at the same shop where i got the fear the fearsome flush at junction 32 these were marked down to 10 pounds each that's a better price because they were originally like something like that. That's like I think they were like 14, 15. Then I think at one point I even saw them go to like 18 quid. So the fact that these were a tenner each, happy days. Got two of them. I'm still hoping amongst hope to get you. You, you know who I want. I want the King of Hellfire himself. So we're, we're hopefully going to find that. But if not, happy to get the chase, Demogorgon. But either way, we'll see what we get. Sticking with Mystery Mini Products, whoop, Missy Super Sorrel bought a bunch of these a while back. Uh, these are the Boo Hollow figures. 
So these are a mystery box bag round ball thing, whatever you want to call it, from Funko. And there's a bunch of mystery minis inside based upon Halloween. There's like a spooky cat, there's a zombie, there's a weird tree, there's a werewolf man, there's a vampire baby, and a skeleton trick-or-treat baby. These are from the Paka Paka series, I think that's how you pronounce it. And these are vinyl figures from Funko. I have 10 of these to open. Uh, so I've just shown you the one right now, but I have a bag on the floor with 10 of them in. So that again will be one of our videos, obviously for Halloween, over the 31 Horror Times 31 Days. I've got 10 of these to open on screen. On screen. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I got a mass of Funko sodas recently because I actually prefer Funko sodas these days to full pop vinyls. But there were a couple of pops that I couldn't resist getting, but we'll get to those in a minute. So for my sins, I picked up a bunch of sodas. So we have the... 2022 Wonder Convention Limited Edition Hades of 8,000 pieces. Uh, very cool looking uh, figure. He's going to look like that, hopefully. And then we've got the chase one. There could be, there's a chance of a chase. And this one feels quite heavy, so we'll see. I've got Dracula as well, which is from uh, a 6,000 one. This is, again, there's a chase version with his helmet on. This is from the Bram Stoker's Dracula movie starring Gary Oldman. So hopefully we'll get the classic monsters Dracula. Uh, but if not, this is a cool one for the time being. Again, feels quite heavy. Then we've got Frankenstein. Um, he again, uh, he's one of the, he's from the classic Universal Monsters collection. Um, again, there's a Chase variant, and he's of oh, five thousand pieces. These, the, this one was marked down heavily in. These were marked down in uh, Smiths. So this one was uh, eight quid. These two were eight pounds each as well. I don't mind when they're a bit cheaper. So if they, it's got to be one that I really want to pay full price for. Uh, but this, and again, we've got uh, the, the What If Zombie. He's of 10,000 pieces. Uh, again, it's quite a heavy can compared to some of those. I always try and weigh them up in my hands and feel which one's the heaviest. The heaviest is usually the chase. Because a lot of people say, how did I end up with like... Because if you remember, I did the videos a while back. And I, I did Chucky... The Corpse Bride. I did, I did a couple on the bounce and they're all chasers. And you guys are saying, how did I manage to find all chasers? It's usually the chasers are a little bit heavier than the regular cans. So I kind of weighed them up in my hand and tried to felt which one's the heaviest can. And I've tried, kind of done that with all of these. So hopefully, hopefully I've got a bunch of chasers there. But if not, I'm just happy either way. Again, Oogie Boogie. This is of 8,000 pieces. He's a brand new one. Although I did pay above the odds for this one at 14.99. <sighs> bit expensive. But it's Oogie Boogie, and he's one of my favourite characters. And he goes with the Funko, which I've got over here as well in a moment. And then to round out my soda collection, I got Japanese Spider-Man. He's 10,000 again, and there you, there's a Chase variant. There was only a couple of these on the shelf at my local comic book store. So I kind of had a feel to see which one was the heaviest. They all kind of felt about the same. So I'm not sure about this one, but it, this one felt kind of heavier of the most of them. But they were... He's, sometimes it's like a trick of the mind, like, is it actually heavier or am I just thinking it? But we'll see. We'll see how I do. And again, these aren't for the horror toy videos. These are just in general to unbox. These will be going out as short videos and TikToks. So over the course of Halloween, because if you notice, they're all kind of like Halloween-y stuff. Maybe not Spider-Man, but the rest are. These are kind of like Halloween-y characters. So I'll post these as shorts over the October month. Sticking with Funko, we also got the exclusive special edition Glow in the Dark Goofy. This is from the new collection of, of Pops, and this was available at HMV, but the only pro problem is because it was a HMV, $17.99, youch! Which then we saw it at Smith's, um, which was the one at Smith's was £10, so it was kind of like, ah, feel a bit robbed. But this one's the Glow in the Dark variant, and I believe the one at Smith's was just the special edition Goofy, and it wasn't the Glow in the Dark variant. So I think the, I think the one at HMV is the Glow in the Dark variant, that's why it costs more, but we'll see. Mrs. Soup's all wanted this because she wants to collect all of the Halloween Funkos this year from Disney. We've got a Goofy, a Donald, a Mickey, and a Minnie. So ho hopefully we'll... This has got a spot in the 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days uh, video. And Mrs. Supersaur will hopefully have picked up the other three by the, by the time this is shown. So I'll do this one later in the month so we've got time to pick up the other three. Hopefully we should have them all by the time we do the video. We'll be able to unbox all four of the uh, Funkos. So we'll see. But yes, Goofy's got a spot regardless. 
And like I said, to go with the Oogie Boogie Soda, I couldn't resist grabbing the Glow in the Dark variant Oogie Boogie Dark Light figure. Um, I've I've had one Oogie Boogie in the past, um, pop vinyl, but I, for some reason the Dark Light one seems to really show up. It looks really cool in that like fluorescent green. It looks like it could glow in the dark. Very cool figure. He's got the dice as well in his hand. Just really cool. So I had to grab that one. Props and replicas here in the UK have plunderlings. I have been looking for these things for months and apparently it's prop, props and replicas that have got them. And this is Feral Zombone. So because he's the zombie version, he's going to be in Horror Toys as well in the, in the month of October. But he's just so cute. <coughs> so like a little gobliny gremliny thing. And he's going to cause mischief probably throughout throughout my house and do loads of things throughout Halloween. So stay tuned to see what cool stuff we get up to with this thing. It looks awesome. Like I said, I've been after plundling for some time. And I'm still after the one with the witch's hat because he looks awesome. Then, a very kind guy on the groups. Again, um, I, don't, I don't name people, by the way, in case they don't want to be named. But um, a very kind gentleman on the groups gave me an, an amazing deal. Basically, I got the Chucky... This is Mezco's uh, MDS figure of the Talking Chucky from Child's Play 2. And he gave me this and the knife for £80 posted. Which, if you guys know how much these things go for, that is an amazing deal. <coughs> <coughs> that is an amazing deal. This week when I was at Comic-Con, I saw this Chucky going for £100 alone. And the knife was going for about 20 so, I mean, that was an amazing deal, and he gave me it shipped. And he actually used um, Parcel Force, so it arrived, like, the next, like, within two days' time. So, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, if he watches my videos, hopefully, uh, then I can say thank you very much for that deal. That is an amazing deal, dude. And he's he's gone to a good home. Chucky's going to be on my top shelf up here. He's going to be up there with Sam <laughs> and all my other Sams. Chucky's the, the, is the next one I want to collect in doll form, but the problem is with Chucky, he always tends to have a very high price. Uh, but I need a Tiffany to go with him now. So I'm definitely going to be hunting down a Mezco Tiffany to go with him. <coughs> right, that is everything. Wow, 27 minutes that took. But guys, hope you've enjoyed this mammoth of a haul. Like I say, this is probably going to be the last haul you're going to see. For the, for, the, for the month ahead. Because obviously in October. I'm not going to be doing any haul videos. I'll be doing all horror toys. Once a day. So every single day of the month. There will be a new horror toy. Review up on the channel for you. Then in early November. We'll crack out some of the other budget toy stuff as well. There's so much to get through. I'm really excited about it. And uh, yeah. Hopefully then. Because obviously I won't be spending too much throughout the rest of this... Well, the, 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 throughout the rest of this month, there's like a week left. You know what I mean? I, I won't be spending much between now and the and the beginning of November. So I can recoup a little bit of cash from what I've spent here. And um, then hope, hopefully we'll, we'll be into the Christmas season by then. We'll be looking towards at Christmas. And we'll be looking at Advent calendars, Christmas stuff. So it's going to be manic. But me and Miss Super Troll aren't doing a massive Christmas this year. Because we're going to Florida in January. So we're not going to be doing a massive Christmas, just getting some stuff, stuff for Superstar Junior. So we're going to be holding off and keeping a lot a lot of the cash that we'd spend on each other ready for Florida because there is some amazing merch out there right now that we want to grab as a part of the 50th anniversary and just in general, like the new Guardians of the Galaxy stuff's out there now. Uh, obviously, I can't wait to go back to Galaxy's Edge. And then there's the whole new Pixar land that we've yet to explore. And as you guys know, I love Toy Story. So I can't wait to do some Buzz and Woody toy reviews, hopefully, of some new product. So stay tuned. Lots of really cool stuff happening. Uh, like I say, there'll be plenty of um, short videos and stuff going up. Uh, I'll be doing that one as a short as well. So stay tuned. There's going to be plenty coming, guys. It's going to be a great month ahead. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, there's so much coming, you would not want to miss out on these videos. So please make sure you are subscribed if you're new around here. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Like I say, tomorrow is the Ecto-1. It's coming up. Guys.
Until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye!